Hi everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look at Fish Speech version 1.4 and this video is an add-on to my previous video where I actually showed you guys how to set up Fish Speech version 1.2 and the version 1.2 only supported three languages, English, Chinese and Japanese but the 1.4 supports eight languages as you can see over here. So this video is going to be really short. I'm just going to work with the previous code. We'll have to actually download the models of course and we'll download the path files and the json files from their hugging face page and i'm going to drop the link to their hugging face page and their github repo in the description also and you also need to download or clone the repo because currently it has actually been updated the code has actually been updated so we can actually install the python packages and check this out and once we're actually done doing that, we will actually work with the previous code we created and I'll show you the necessary changes you need to make on the previous code we actually wrote. So that once we're actually done making the necessary changes, we will move on to clone different audio files. And in this video, I'm going to be cloning my voice and I'll also be cloning Jarvis's voice like I did in the previous video. And maybe I'll try some other actor's voice. I, don't, I do not know which one yet, but once I decide on that, it will be added to this video. So let's get right into the code. So as you can see over here, we have copied the necessary files we need. I have Austin the wave, that's mine, and we have Jarvis the wave. Those are the three wave files or the three audio files we're going to be cloning in this video. And we have the main.py and the voice.py. And an important file we actually have here is the requirements of txt because we're going to set up our virtual environment and we will need to install all this. So under the checkpoints directory, we have fish speech 1.4, but you can place your model files wherever you want because at the end of the day, you're going to have the option to locate them here in the checkpoints underscore path. As you can see over here. And in the voice.py, this is from our previous project where we set up version 1.2, like I said, and we're going to be making some changes. We'll change um, the location of our checkpoint path, we'll change it, and we'll also make a few adjustments before we run it. But before we actually do that, let's set up our virtual environment. I'll be using virtual env. You can use conda or whatever you want. So let's set mine up. So I've set mine up. And I'm going to install requirements. If you don't want to, if you're not actually using PyCharm, you can just open up the terminal. As you can see, it has been activated automatically. And you can do and run it. The reason why we're actually doing this is because the fee speech um, package actually requires this, some of this, I think. So we're actually setting it up before we clone the repo and before we actually install the fish speech package from the models directly. So now let's go over to your GitHub repo. And as I said earlier, I'm going to be linking, I'm going to be putting all the links to your hugging face and your GitHub repo in the description. So you can actually check that out here. So let's copy this and let's right click on the models directory because that's where we want to actually clone the fish speech repo. So opening terminal and so what I'm going to do is refactor this. I'll use an underscore. So something else I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in the terminal and I'm going to do so now fish speech is actually installed we can close all this we just close the terminal for now and the changes we're going to be making um, is right is right here in voice.py. So the first thing we're going to do is change this, like I said earlier, to 1.4. So since we've actually changed this to 1.4, we are going to also change this because the file name has actually changed. So let's just copy this and 
paste it here so it's going to basically replace this one and we'll do the same thing here also change this to 1.4 and also make sure you take note of the checkpoint underscore path so you will change this to 1.4 and we will be using Jarvis away first so let's just change this name here and let's also uncomment what's like I said in the previous video, the prompt text is basically the transcribed version of what the audio file you're actually passing in here. Whatever, whatever the subject in that particular audio file was actually saying, that's what you're going to put in here. And you can see the prompt sequence and and we'll also change this to false, unlike the previous one. And we'll also change this to true. Let's just set this to the default, which is 7 and set this to maybe 100 we set this to the default that's what we're going to do and the number of samples we we'll use is two because this version actually does pretty well compared to the previous version the previous version i needed to um, generate three samples and pick the the um third took um, prompt token and that's what i actually used the third sample that's what i always use that's why we have to actually change this to underscore one instead of underscore two because two is the third one since it's counting from zero one to three um zero one two sorry so um change this we've also changed this and something else we're missing so max number of tokens let's do this default 1024 let's see i don't think there's anything else we'll need for now everything looks good another thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here like we did in the previous um project we will go to generate a pie it's actually here in the model directory fish speech if you look over here in the voice.py you're going to see um, fish speech tools llama generate so if you go over to fish speech since we're actually under models fish speech then we'll go to tools llama then generate so that's where we are now this is what we're going to be commenting out in line 608 um so i don't know what line this would be when you're actually watching this video because they might make changes to this particular repo so just look for this at click dot command so we're going to do the same thing in the inference so we're going to comment this out and i don't think there's anything else we need to do so let's open up our terminal and run it and if you're using PyCharm, you can easily go over to main.py because main, the main.py is basically the same thing we used in the previous project. Um, there's no difference. This text is still the same. I haven't changed anything. You can put whatever text you want to put in here. Um, and you can click on the play button. Or you can just follow along and run this in your terminal. So let's just speed this up because this is going to take a while. Hello world, my name is Megamind. I was designed by Austin Brain. As you can see, it sounds pretty close to Jarvis's voice and as you can see, the text was what it actually said. So now let's try, let's try it out with my voice. Let's just do this first. This is what I said in that audio file. I'm going to change this to Austin. And make sure you actually locate wherever you kept this WAV file. Since I kept mine in the root directory, I'll just call it here, like that. So now let's run this again. And let's speed it up again. Hello world, my name is Megamind. I was designed by Austin Brain. 
So as you can see, um, it has actually cloned my voice and it, it doesn't sound bad. Another voice we're going to be trying out is Cogman and it's a character from um, Transformers. Uh, I really love that character. It's a butler. And if you've watched um, Transformers, I think it's um, The Last Night or something like that. Um, the last Transformer movie that was released. Uh, you're going to see Cogman. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very interesting character. It looks like um, C3P or something from Star Wars. So that's the voice we're going to be cloning. Let me let me play the WAV file. We have it here. Let's play it and hear how it actually sounds. I actually had to extract the audio from the um, movie itself, which means I had to, um, you know, do some noise reduction, and it won't be perfect. But uh, we have to actually see if it can actually clone that um, imperfect recording. So let's let me show you the audio file. So this is a file, Cogman the Wave, and let's play. Oh, no, he's going to die. I was making the moment more epic. Leprechauns are tiny, green, and Irish. And okay, now that we have that, um, this is the prompt text. This is what he was saying. And I have included it here in the prompt text, and I have passed in the name of the file here. And I reduce the temperature to 0 0.3 for this particular test. You can make it 0 0.7, it will still be okay. So let's run it and let's speed it up again. Hello, world. My name is Megamind. I was designed by Austin Brain. So as you can actually hear, it actually sounds perfect. And I'll be playing around with this for a while. And, but like I said in my previous video, I did say that this text-to-speech engine or this voice learning engine is best for those with a PFGP and that remains true um, because it takes, the um, inference takes a while. And if you want to integrate it for, if you want to integrate it to your AI system or to your LLM, uh, you do not want the latency. So if you do have your resources maybe in the cloud or your local machine has a very beefy gpu then this would be perfect to plug into your ai system it's perfect like it actually it delivers consistent voice cloning so you can clone whoever voice maybe jarvis's voice or whatever mm -hmm. and you just get it working in no time and without any stress so that's my own take on this so before we actually end this video something i wanted to talk about is um the fish speech web UI interface, which is really cool. And it's something I forgot to talk about in my last video. And there's also a GUI. I think it's just Windows for Windows. And uh, since I'm running Mac OS, I won't be able to install that. So um, to start up the web UI, you have to actually run this command. And since I actually set my project up in a different way, I will be um changing how i'll actually access the tools.web ui so make sure you copy this command and we'll go back to this and you paste it in your terminal as you can see this is how i actually called mine i called mine python dash m modules directory and then we'll call fish speech which is this before calling tools before calling web ui which is this one then the checkpoints make sure you actually um paste in wherever you actually kept your checkpoints since mine i set mine up exactly like this i have no problem i won't be changing this but something else i would actually um change is this since i i'm not actually using cuda i'm not using um, an nvidia gpu uh, I would go over to the web UI.py and something I would change is I'll change the default for the device to CPU So I don't need to add any other command here. So now if I run this So it has given us the URL where it's actually running it in. Uh, It's a local URL. So let's click on it. As you can see it was built with Gradio and we're going to input the text we want. And if we don't um, add any reference audio to just be generating um, different voices like randomly, it might generate a female voice, or it might generate a male voice, but let's just click on generate. 
Let's play it. Hello, what is your name? How was your day? As you can see. Now, let's generate it again. You see the voice is not going to be the same. That's the reason why um, vo that's the reason why we actually clone voices so it will just be the same. But some text to speech engine has a way to actually specify speaker ID, but I don't see any option here. So Hello. What is your name? How was your day? As you can see. And if you want to add a reference audio, you have to click here and you enable this. And you can select an example audio, but since we don't have any here, I would actually have to drag and drop. Let me drag and drop um, Cogman from our project. Okay, I have added Cogman. Let me add the reference text. Now let's click on generate. Hello, what is your name? How was your day? As you can see, it sounds perfect. And I think streaming um, generates will just automatically start playing it if you do that. So you can play around with the sliders here. So um, you can just use it however you want. Um, so it's really, really cool. And I hope you do check it out. And so that's just going to be it for this video. And make sure if you've not subscribed and if you've not clicked on the bell icon make sure you do that right now it really helps a lot and share like and thank you for watching have a nice one